I'm Holly Davis, Technical Service Manager with FMC covering the state of Texas. I'm out here today in a recently harvested cotton field and thinking about the application of harvest aid programs. It can be one of the trickiest parts of the, the entire season. Um, everybody kind of has their own program. It's more of an art than a science and no two years are the same. However, we know in situations where you have very lush rank growth, it's probably going to take multiple applications to get cotton desiccated. In other situations, you may have hurricanes blow through, late rains that come in and cause juvenile regrowth in fields that have already been desiccated, and or you may have some troublesome weeds like morning glory vine or pigweed that need to be desiccated to allow for a cleaner, more efficient harvest. Now the first decision in your harvest aid program is when to put out that first application. And that can be based on a number of um, factors, but of course the biggest one is probably when is cotton mature? When is it ready? And the rule of thumb has largely been, you know, 60 to 70% open bowls. Um, and to be honest, a lot of us judge that and kind of drive by scouting. Um, but the most accurate way to know if cotton is mature and ready for the application of harvest aids is to get out in the field and use the sharp knife technique. Mark Nimick, owner of MJN Consulting located in the Brazos bottom of Texas, is going to walk us through using the sharp knife technique and knowing when cotton is ready for the application of harvest aids. This is the top of a stalk I cut off here to kind of see where our position is as far as when we're going to be ready to defoliate it. This one here is our first cracked or open bowl. We're going to count out four nodes from here. One, two, three, four. So this bowl should be ready to apply the bowl opener to it. Well, we can actually cut into it. That seed is mature, starting to get a brown seed coat on it. Uh, it's gonna be very close to being ready to defoliate and put a bowl open on it. So from this one to the first position here that's missing is three days. But then we're gonna go from here out is six days. So this bowl theoretically is nine days younger than this bowl. So we will cut in this one and just see how close we are to that. And you can see there the jelly. Oh, wow. In the seed, it's not mature. It's nine days younger than that one. So we've got another 10 days before that and be ready to defoliate. This one is three, six. This one should be three days younger than this one. This one should be six days younger than this one. So it's a lot of counting and cutting. And it's a little harder to cut. And you can see the seed has still got a little bit of jelly in it, in the center of it. Not quite mature yet. So this is, this shows you that this one is, you count up three, six. This is six days younger than this one. So this bowl being ready for prep, ethophon, this bowl is six days from that. So you count up again as another three. So that's nine, but this one is too far gone. This is a little mush bowl, regrowth, late stuff. This one, we might be able to harvest this one as this one. Right here, so you can see the jelly in it. You can see that the seed's not matured out in the middle. It's the same age as this one we had right here. So we know in 10 days we can get two more bowls. So that's kind of how we look at defoliation. AIM EC herbicide is a great option for your harvest aid tank mix. It makes cotton defoliation fast, economical, and easy. We recommend rates of about one half to three quarters of an ounce per acre for uh, speeding up the defoliation of mature leaves, desiccating juvenile regrowth, and or helping with those troublesome weeds. AIM EC herbicide also works very well in hot or cool temperatures, which makes it a great fit for all geographies. <music>